October is time for harvesting fitting for National Farm to School Month. That right. it is. Joining say? us this morning for more on the connections happening across the country is Jessica Goodmanson, who is co-director of Farm to School. And I hear Farm to School, and I'm thinking, okay, does the food just go from the farm to the school? Does the school go to the farm? How does this whole system work? Yeah, it's a little bit of everything. So farm to school is three things. It's serving food that's locally grown in your community directly to your, your kids and your school cafeteria. But it's also providing those same kids uh, nutrition education. So helping them understand where their food comes from. So many kids think food comes from the grocery store, and that just isn't the case. Um, and it's also providing experiential education. So school gardens, giving children a hand to get their hands in the dirt and, and understand what it means to grow a seed from the start all the way to being able to harvest food and then have the joy of eating Which that. is such a cool process to see. I remember right. as a kid, you know, oh, even yeah. still. Miss Hydroponics here. Yeah, I love She'll tell you all about that. <laughs> um, you know, in, in terms of the students, though, I mean, I, I remember when we went to school and God only knows what we ate with preservatives in there. Uh, is it having a positive impact on the kids? I mean, are they, are they more energetic? Do they feel healthier, look healthier? Yeah, you absolutely. Can probably see that, right? Farm to school has a tremendous impact. So when you do all three things, when you give chance, kids the chance to learn, to eat, and to experience it for themselves, they're far more likely to actually eat that food and have a relationship with it. They're That's more likely point. to not leave it on their plate and throw it away at the end of lunch. And when kids are nourished and well-fed, they have better academic outcomes, too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I can't imagine there's any resistance, but have you had any in this program? You know, uh, it's not resistance to doing farm to school. There's truly nothing not to like about wanting right. kids to have access to really good food. There are barriers to doing this. It's okay. not always easy to get food locally grown directly into schools. In terms of the success of the program, what, what is needed to make sure that it's always a success? Yeah, absolutely. So Farm to School is a program that's rooted in community. It needs it needs parents and teachers and advocates farms. to be invested in it. Yeah, it needs our producers, and we need to be supporting them as well. Yeah, you have to have farms within a, you know, a good distance of them. So does this help eliminate some food deserts? Have you seen that change happening? Yeah, absolutely. Farm to School is a great way to make sure kids have access to food. So, you know, one of the things that we advocate for at National Farm to School Network is serving kids free school lunch. You know, it really truly does a lot to eliminate issues around access if everybody just gets it when they go to school. So you've definitely hit on the benefits for the school and mm -hmm. the kids. What about the farmers, the local growers? Yeah, so one of the great things about Farm to School is it provides our farmers a new market. It provides them a way to be able to have an avenue to, to make money off the food that they're growing. And honestly, most of the farmers who participate in Farm to School are doing it because they want to invest in their local community. And is this across the country, this program, if someone's interested in maybe getting their school involved in this? Absolutely. Farm to School is in all 50 states and D.C. and the territories. And if you want to get in Farm to School or if you're not sure if your school is doing a Farm to School program, just show up and ask and, and ask how you can support and be involved. Yeah, and what's interesting, too, is you can go seasonal with the food because of the school season, right? You can Absolutely. have all these different foods that come in. Instead of eating the same thing every week, Friday's pizza day, whatever it used to be, right? I mean, you can really get into seasonal food. There's a tremendous opportunity to bring so many new foods into schools, to, to create scratch cooking opportunities, to teach kids how to make their own meals and to learn to cook, and things like knife skills, things they'll need for the rest of their life. How have they brought that home? Because that's also, you know, sometimes they bring the stuff home and the parents light up about it. Have you seen any interaction there or changes? Absolutely. You know, we've had stories of kids who've experienced a new food in school and then asked their parents to buy it when they see it when they're shopping for food later. So one of the pictures behind you is fresh strawberries. My favorite when you're is, out there just picking them. Is there like a strawberry shortcake day? I just thought, you know, <laughs> you got to have desserts too, right? Absolutely. You know, we don't discriminate. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Jessica Goodmanson, the co-director of Farm to School, we really appreciate you coming on and teaching yeah. us about this program. Uh, she, Thank this you. is Jessica's first time on the air. Yeah, she had she great was job, nervous right? and it's like, oh my gosh, she's like a pro after, after time one. So, Sound, good sound bites, good information. Yeah, just awesome information. You need to go to TV more, Jessica. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you she'll be much. back for sure.